whenever I jump on chairs, they're never my chairs. They're always other people's chairs. For the record, these are blue light glasses because I get major headaches. That's why I take them on and off. And also, um, I'm right in front of a window. There's really bad light glare, so you can't see my eye. Blue Lantern Razor, we finally get to see him. His hoodie is so cute. His face is so cute. His hair is so cute. He's so cute. Wow! Here's my question. Back in like 2012 to a month ago, how accurate were we when it comes to the fan art of Blue Lantern Razor. How close were we when it came to how the, his design turned out in Young Justice? I'm gonna put my hair up because we're getting serious. I'm just gonna Google Blue Lantern Razor fan art. And if it's basically direct, directly based off of Young Justice Razor Blue Lantern, I'm not counting it. If it's anything before that or anything that doesn't look like that, we're counting it. So here we go. First of all, I wanna talk about the fact that we did actually get some glimpse of what Razor was going to look like as a Blue Lantern. So here we go. I don't remember the entire story. I'd have to look up the article where we have this sketch that the art director designer person drew as kind of a, if Razor, if we didn't make a, a season two, this is what Razor would have looked like as a Blue Lantern. I hated it for reasons that I explained in one of my other videos. Now I don't mind his hair because it's cute. This one actually looks a lot like what I kind of was designing. Cause in some of my designs, he does have that, like kind of the headpiece, but he doesn't have like a center one. They, this one kind of has like a jacket little kind of thing, which actually is pretty accurate to how it looks in the in the show. The, the clothing itself, not necessarily the headdress, looks a lot like what they did actually. This one looks a lot like what Razor looks like as a Red Lantern, except I see I see this design a couple times where the, instead of having like the pointy parts of his helmet sticking out, it kind of curves back, which I thought that was kind of a fun way to play with his headdress. And I love the, the highlights. So that's pretty cool. This one has a hood. I like the cape and the fact that he has a hood that's actually like a lot like a lot like Young Justice, that's really cool. Another thing is people made this, the elbow glove things and the knee, knee pads, they made them like circular rather than like pointy. Another thing is the hair is gray instead of um, instead of white, but it's still pretty close. The clothes itself is a little far from how it turned out, but the hood is like, it's kind of cool how many people drew the hood. So basically someone just recolored razor blue, which isn't a bad thing. He kind of looks like he has Silco hair, actually, which is funny because Razor voices Silco. Sorry, Jason Spizak, who voices Razor, also voices Silco. So it's kind of funny that this one, his hair is kind of kind of looks like Silco. That's funny. Another thing that's pretty common is people gave him pointy ears, which in um, Young Justice he has rounded ears. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but like, I don't care. I don't have a strong opinion one way or the other. Well, another thing is like, there's no like point on his shoulder pad, so it's all just like, like rounded, which is also a part of the other design. This one is hilarious. I was like, mm, you're so cute, which that's definitely something I can relate to. She goes, analyzing, Razor has a lovely body structure. <laughs> and Razor's like, ah. <laughs> it's funny how close, like the, the actual like point in his, um, his chest piece is and how rounded the shoulders are once again. I, I did, when it comes to this design, I did like how they did the collar because it really like evoked the Red Lantern design. And also I like the sharp points that kind of look like the points under his um, chest piece. This one is funny because this one is actually super accurate. Even though like they don't have as many Volkregian designs in John Justice, he does have the hood and he does have pointed shoulder pads. Even like the hair kind of, kind of, sticking out like bangs. Really actually hauntingly accurate. Pretty fun actually. Very similar to um, one of the other designs to the one where, with the Silco hair and the one and once again like I said like instead of doing like the three points they kind of rounded the back which I mean kind of makes sense but I'm I'm not I'm not a huge fan of it but I'm more inspired by designs that cover. I was more designed by I was more inspired by designs that still covered his head. This one's really cute. I like how that's stylized. His face looks like he's um, Ramesses from Prince of Egypt a little bit. 
I hope that doesn't offend anybody. He kind of has like a like a, a headdress type, kind of like a hood, but it's more like kind of how Alana's headdress looked. And he does have the pointed, the kind of kind of pointed up shoulder pads, which is kind of fun. Also, Aya's really pretty in this picture. I don't know how I feel about human Aya, but I don't think they'd have to explain it really well for that to work. Human as in like alien, physical person. This one is very familiar to some of the other ones, except this time he has a pointed headdress. This one, pretty familiar to a lot of the other ones. Um, they did do the rounded shoulder like in the um, like in the like the tease that the art director did. This one's kind of different. They kind of with the cloth design, they did kind of point the shoulders, but it looks it doesn't look very Blue Lantern, and it looks very Valkyrian, which makes sense that they would kind of tie that together because of Razor's origin. It's just kind of interesting that they chose to not make it armor; they chose to make it more like cloth. That's kind of fun. This one, this design is basically just like what the the art director drew. This one a lot like, like the hair is a lot like the design from the sketch. And this one, the chest piece is shaped different where it's kind of like takes the place of like the, um, the lines that are kind of under his chest piece. And yeah, that one's fun. Oh, this action figure is sick actually. I want Razor action figures so bad. Oh, this one's kind of fun. This one actually does have a hood. The pointy coattails are a lot like, um, are like a lot like his arm pieces and his knee pads. Just fun. Just really fun how they spun that. Anyways, so that's some old fan art kind of getting dug from ages past. But I also just want to like throw some love this way because it makes me wonder like how accurate were, were we, right? I think it's kind of cool to see how close some of them were, like with the hood. Like how did people know to draw him with a hood. Nobody nobody knew that they were gonna draw him with a hood. It makes me also wonder how much inspiration the design, the people who made the new Blue Lantern Razor design, how much inspiration did they take from fan art? Let me know um, if I didn't credit any of these guys right or like if this is your art and you wanted to say hi. I also am sorry if people are embarrassed about this art in some cases where it's like, oh, that was such a long time ago, I got so much better. Because for me, if someone saw my art, which I posted a video about it, but if someone like saw my art and was like, look guys, it's this person's art, I would kind of be like, yeah, it's really cool that Razor came back and how close some of the designs were. And just kind of, I don't know, go down memory lane as to some of these, some of these drawings I've seen before, but some other ones I have never seen before, like the first one. So anyways, Take care. Oh, I got little, got little marks from my glasses. Goodbye.